All right, so what's up? I uh, hope y'all can hear me. If not, I'm going to show you something real quick. What you are looking at is um, it's kind of like uh, hydroponics, basically. And all it is is you're going to cut you a two-liter bottle. You know what I'm saying? Coke bottles are the best because they have those little grooves like that, those little lines that go sideways. I know you see them now. One, two, three. They actually have four. And um, this is just a, you know, a idea for you. You take you some yarn, some jute twine. It's at like the dollar store for a dollar. They give you like uh, a bunch of feet of it. I can tell you, about a hundred feet of it for a dollar. Now I'm blowing bugs up off of them because I picked a bad time to really just whatever. So these are tomato plants. That's right. That's inside of there. And uh, you fill the reservoir or you let it rain a little bit. Now, here's a, here's a trick. Now, I don't know if you can see that. That's barely screwed on right there. Because you want the water to drain out of your... Uh, you don't want the water to fill up in here and drown your plant. You want it to go into the reservoir and that water will last you months on end. I mean, to the next time it rains, it probably won't even go down that much to that line there. Or if it does, it'll go down there. So I don't water these. I'm a, okay, I know you see these dark, murky waters. That doesn't matter. These plants, they love it. You know what I'm saying? They love it. And uh, I can prove that to you. I got a few of them that's falling over and whatnot. Not all of them will survive anyway. But you still get a lot of them. I have at least. Let me just let me just point out some stuff to you. This is an avocado plant right here. I'm gonna get in there and let you see it. And I bonsai it. These don't grow in the winter time and I bonsai it during the winter time so it kind of threw me off and it's just now trying to grow so it, it, it's a tree basically and I actually have three cloned um, bell peppers right here one there's the second one and there's the third one um, it doesn't matter what type of container that you use you can use juice containers I was using a you know cut off the top of the kool-aid right there whatever you want to use I mean back there is a uh, an Arizona green tea bottle and I just cut the top off of it uh, another trick that you can use you see how sharp this is when you cut them with scissors or a knife or whatever I used uh, scissors but you can burn the top of them with a with a uh, you know with a lighter of sorts and there's about five to six of them in there. You see all those different stems. Now, what's the great part about it is tomatoes grow roots from the uh, stems. So you can take those out. You can easily transplant them and they'll still live. I mean, you know, if they're going to die, they're going to die anyway. But the likelihood of you getting all of those, I put about 14 in these two. Right here and right here. And uh, I transplanted them already. And back here, you can see that one is pretty big. Um, that's probably like the biggest one, but they all thriving, the ones up here at the top. So let me take you back here right fast. Now these, these have been like a month or so in. And uh, they're doing really, really good. You know what I'm saying? Especially this one. And you know, they vary in, you know, the, the growth. But they got all the same type of soil. Very special to them. They water themselves. You don't have to do nothing but watch them grow. And that's what, I'm, what I got going on. This is my best one. This is the most shallow. Look at how shallow this top is. Get out of here, Pete. <laughs> anyway, he, uh... I want to get on camera, so here, here. Are you done? <laughs> and uh, surprisingly, he hasn't tried to eat none of my plants and nothing like this. I let him off the chain, and um, he runs around and kicks it with me all day. And as you can see, so this is what you do with him. You know what I'm saying? Again, you cut your top off, the two liter, and it, and then, and that's the thing. You can add this to it and get you an even more greenhouse effect. You know what I'm saying? Just put them back on top. You see it? 
Let me do that again. You got your greenhouse at the top. That's up to you, though. Um, I get questions about this all the time. Some people say, oh, that'll never work. And now my neighbors, they, they shook on it. They want it. They want some of them. I, I think I might end up selling some of the plants when they get a little bit bigger. Um, some of them can be sold right now for a dollar or two. And uh, the bigger one's going to go for five or ten, depending on how I feel about them and how big they actually get. The avocado tree is staying with me because it's the only one I've been able to start. And it's the jumbo type, so the super avocados. And this is pretty much what it is, the hydroponic uh, two-liter bottle setup. And they all, it doesn't, okay, I forgot to tell you right here. These are going to be strawberries. I had a couple of them come up, but then, you know, when it rained, it knocked some of them down. So they end up going back. It's jute twine. Um, you know, and you're going to make sure you, it's just the wicking system. And as it gets hot, the water comes up into the wick, up, up, up into the soil. And it basically keeps it moist or damp or whatever you want to, you know. And all of them, as you can see, have moisture in it. It's not killing the plants. They're thriving. Some of them needed some nutrients, and I put that in there today, a little plant uh, food back there, that that last green one there needed it. Um, that was on the ground. So everything's looking good. Everything's thriving. So for right now, we got two of them over here. I don't know if the stem, I don't know. It might die. Because it's the stem is not standing up, and be careful with the way you put your nutrients in too early. You want to at least let them get a green stem before you start putting your plant food in there, and that may be what the problem with this one is. Because he he's not wanting to stand up. Anyway, enjoy yourself. Try this out. It also works. You can put any type of plant in here. Doesn't matter what it is. Let the mosquito man go by, who is not even blowing anything. He's not even blowing anything. He's just making noise. But it is what it is. It's guns. Mario Williams, Mario W, whatever you want to call me. This is for YouTube, Facebook, whatever I put it on. You know what I'm saying? One.